Oh, that steering is definitely something to get used to. Hear the turbo spooling up there. And we're out on the roads in the Ineos Grenadier. Very kind of bumpy, hard ride. You know, this is an off-roader at the end of the day, but this is not the true off-roading package. There's an additional off-roading package you can actually get in the Grenadier that's a little bit more rugged. You get beefier tires. I believe you can get front, rear, and center diff lockers as well. Um, so this is just like one version of the Grenadier. It's a little more luxurious focus. We have these Recaro seats here. Um, you can see that brown kind of maroonish leather style stuff there, which is really nice. So it's a little bit more luxury focus. And rear space is a little bit tight, I will say. It has a very shortish wheelbase around the Defender 110, but I think a little bit shorter. Um, it almost feels like a Toyota RAV, uh, not RAV4, a 4Runner style off-roader. The visibility in here is definitely interesting. You sit very, very high, like in a big SUV. Um, big side windows all around you, a lot of glass, which is fantastic. The only real issue is looking out back um, with those kind of unique style rear trunk doors, which I'll show you guys in a second. That's really the only way area where I think it could be improved. They could have just thrown in like a rear view camera up there and that mirror, which it doesn't have. Um, otherwise, it's pretty good up here, especially your front kind of panoramic style of visibility is really good. And one of my favorite things on this steering wheel is this little toot button, which is like a, a calm around town horn. So it sounds like that and your real horn is a little, <laughs> a little bit louder, a little bit more aggressive. Braking performance feels pretty good. The steering is definitely something to get used to. That That's for sure. It's, it's a unique steering wheel. It's kind of designed for off-roading usage, so it won't like kind of snap back at you too much and kind of get some better um, control and some trickier situations. But on the road, it's a little loosey-goosey. Takes some time to get used to for sure. While we're stopped at this light right here, again, auto stop start coming in handy. I do like this controller here. It feels very nice. I believe it's actual metal too, which is really cool. I, just, I don't know if I can get over that. That turning indicator is so interesting. I've never heard anything like it before. It doesn't even sound like a turning indicator. It just sounds like a, a chime, a light chime in the background. Oh, acceleration's pretty good, actually. Again, BMW engine, just been detuned. I think we're making around the 280 horsepower range, so I'm not sure if people are gonna get their hands on this and tune it at some point, which I wouldn't be surprised if they do, but um, that's what you're gonna be getting right now. Honestly, driving it, really easy. I don't have complaints. And even in this pre-production unit, it feels pretty good, which I am impressed with. I wanna take you guys on a quick tour of some of the storage spaces back here, cause it's definitely interesting on the back, as well as all the unique accessories you can get around the Grenadier. Cool, there's a little Wrangler there. Awesome, popping into park, pretty simple with the button, and you're in park right there, which is nice. A unique steering rack. I wanna show you guys the rear cargo space real quick. This person could buy. People probably have no idea what this thing is, because this is pretty sweet. So back here, you see you have a step ladder, nice big spare tire, and if you open up this door here, it actually opens to the side. So you have like this little like side quarter door back here, and this door does open as well. I honestly don't, here's the latch I think right here. Yeah, there we go. So then you have this huge opening back here. I mean like, it's massive. I think these doors go, yeah, this one goes, yeah. They open pretty much fully wide so you can have a nice, you got a quick sense of acceleration here. This engine definitely is peppy when it does need to be. Ooh, nice turbo whistle. Of course, it's a BMW engine, so I'm sure it's making a little bit more power than the quoted 280 horsepower that it's been detuned to. But I think it's more than enough for this vehicle. You don't need to be going fast whatsoever in this thing at all. It's a tank at the end of the day and it's meant for off-roading. And I like that this turbocharged engine is here to kind of give you that low end torque that could be helpful off-road. And I'm thankful that it's not some four cylinder. 
And again, huge thanks to Curry Enios Grenadier here for letting us check out the Enios Grenadier. Um, they will be opening up their own dealership soon, and this Mercedes dealership allegedly will be moving so in place of the Enios store. So that's going to be really exciting to see. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this drive of the Enios Grenadier. Um, it's been really interesting to kind of get a first impressions of this thing. I've been seeing them slowly, slowly more and more on the internet, but I think it's going to be a huge success for this little brand. Um, especially in the US where we are SUV hungry, off-road hungry, and people always want the latest and greatest thing. And if you don't want to buy an old clunky old Defender, this is perfect for you. It's going to be a little bit cheaper than probably one of those, even if you fully restore it. Um, and this has all the modern tech and the modern engine and modern efficiency and stuff that you would expect um, in a new vehicle. So good props to Daniels for developing such an awesome brand new vehicle. And I'm very excited to see how they do coming down the road. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me on this video. And as always, stay tuned for more coming on All Car News. Cheers.